All right, positively, Jack, Santa Claus coming to town a couple of months early today. Patients at Wolfson Children's Hospital, they got a personal visit from jolly old St. Nick himself. News for Jack's reporter Brianna Andrews spoke with the family about the significance of this special event. Six year old Paisley Spee's smile is big enough to light up the room. You see the pure bliss on her face after Santa stopped and gifted her a brand new Barbie doll. Oh, that's Did Santa surprise you at all? Yeah. yeah, we heard. What did we hear first? We heard his jingle bells, jingle bells first, and what she said, "Oh, it's coming." For mom, this moment is so much bigger than Christmas in July. We've been here for a little, almost a week now, and so it was just a nice pick me up. Paisley Spees suffers from lymphatic malformation. It's when a clump of abnormal lymph vessels forms a growing, disorganized, spongy cluster of cysts. And what has been the hardest thing for you as a parent going through this process? Oh, <laughs> um, I guess the unexpected. Uh, she's kind of a complicated case. There are so many families at Wolfson experiencing that same frightening emotion. That's why the hospital partnered with Subaru of Jacksonville to have Santa deliver dozens of toys during off season. And when you visit a family, what's the message you want left behind when you leave? I just wanted to remember to have a great time, have some hope and have the spirit of Christmas. Up until July 31st, Santa and his little helpers you have a Merry Christmas. will be working overtime, spreading Christmas cheer. This is the first time in two years that Santa is able to come to the hospital in person. He wasn't able to come before because of the pandemic. So Christmas in July this year has an extra special meaning. Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.